Please say hello to the original copies of The Travels of Marco Polo. This writing, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. What would you need in order to translate this? Another book from the era of this one. Did you say Edward collected old things like us? What if he had a copy of Rusty's books? But what about getting into his home? Edward is hosting an auction ball this weekend. I'll go ask Father if he can work some of his magic. Why do you never go out to the field? Search for artifacts, I mean. Other than the fact that I don't have the gift. I used to go, but that was some time ago. Now I... I just don't. It, it's a long story. You seem to have quite a lot of those. You don't? I had a simple childhood in America. The most excitement I had is when my father let me go to the store and buy a riddle book. That and my deck of cards kept me quite busy. And that was it. My book, my cards, and my family. Until we decided to move west, where it all changed. And when I met your brother. Speak of the devil, look what I found. Really? How? Honestly, no clue. But let's make it a plan to ask him after all this, uh, Waffa. Martha McNeil, you are, you are hereby here cordially invited to attend my auction ball on the 30th of October in the year of our Lord, 1825, at 9 o'clock p.m. Gray Manor, Italy. Sincerely, Sincerely Edward Gray. Who's Martha? A plantation owner from the United States. She wasn't able to leave for only one night event, so you're her substitute. And for me, I'm James, your husband. My husband? Uh, well, uh, not really. Uh, all right, McNeils, we've got to get you two ready. How? We probably look nothing like these people. How can we look like them? Artifacts. Lanello Dalamonte, French for a lover's ring. And the final document written by Rustichello de Pisa. And one half of the key towards my liberation. The travels of Marco Polo were in my grasp. But once again, my freedom is denied by the incompetent, arrogant, selfish, Wesley Corrington! Not even to mention that girl. Though I pity the fact that she's been deceived into trusting Corrington, she's nonetheless a nuisance and must be treated as such. The artifact vault. The reason your head is ringing, Lilac, is because every artifact our family has collected for a hundred years is in there. Stay here. I won't ask you to rely solely on your necklaces to stop your gift. So, your whole family has always had the gift. You know, finding artifacts? My grandfather was the first we recorded. My father has it, and remarkably, so did my mother. Her family was strong with the gift as well. Then, why doesn't Victoria? That's why she is the way she is. Ever since she was young, she's been trying to find out why she doesn't have the gift. 
That's the reason she was excited to meet you. Because I'm the opposite of her. Someone with a gift and a giftless family. I didn't want it. I didn't want to have to wear this just to function. I want it to be normal. I've learned normal is relative. Maybe your perspective of normal needs to change. Sorry. So, what artifact are you using? I don't hear any buzzing, so it must not be that powerful. Is it? Depends on your definition of powerful. Here, take these. What is this? After careful examination, it appears to be a feather. It is, actually, a feather. They just happen to be a little more than that. Do they explode? Uh, no. Do either of you remember when the American revolutionaries dumped tea in Boston Harbor? They dressed as Indians to conceal their identities. Technically Native Americans, but yes. But the reason their disguises were so lovely were because of these. Samuel Adams, who led the mission, traded them off with some wandering Native Americans. They cast about you an image, changing the light waves around you to create a different version of yourself. King's English, please, Victoria. They give you a different face. Someone else's face. But only if that person doesn't expect to see you. So basically, stay as far away from Edward as you can, as he will see your true faces. Edward would be expecting us? Probably. He's devious, and considering he's already after a million's troubles, he knows we won't be able to translate it. But the guests, instead of seeing Lila Kamali and Wesley Corrington, they'll see Martha and James McNeil. But they only change your face. You'll still have to dress the part. Does that... Does that mean I have to wear... A dress? You look lovely. I hate dresses. Always have, always will. They're so restricting. Where's my mobility? I can't run, or climb, or jump. Then you'll love these. No. You look impractical. I was going to say remarkable, but sure, if you'd like, impractical. It is. What if I have to fight someone? Don't worry, we won't have to fight anyone. Just sneaking in, sneaking out. That's optimistic. It could happen. You two ready? Time to party.